welcome to the second discussion on data interpretation in the first discussion <coughs> I was discussing a question like this so this is company A this is company B's production and so on this company A this is company B company A company B these are the productions and I told that these all figures have no meaning. Do not waste your time in calculations because bank viewer doesn't want your mathematical expertise. The question will be in which year the percentage increase in the production of company B to that of company A was maximum. This was the last question. Now here I've just changed into the minimum. So this question I'm revisiting again how to do this. This I, I'm telling as a pole method. You can bother as a tree method or whatever you make. Let me say I'll I have five trees. And this tree grew by so much next year, this tree grew by so much next year, this tree grew by this much, this tree grew by this much, this tree grew by this much. Fine. Now I will ask a kid which tree is growing quite fast. The kid will say that this tree is growing qu quite fast. It's around double. This is small. This is very small. This is comparatively small. This is small. So you'll say that this is maximum and this is minimum. That's it. So data interpretation questions are meant for kids. So this particular thing is written in a very scary way like this. In which year the percentage increase in the production of this company B, that and so on. For that we, we, we subtract a big number minus 130 divided by 130 into 100 this that stuff we do but this is not what he's asking he's asking to analyze like a kid so if I'll say <coughs> between company A to company B which year the production was minimum so here I go this is the tree these are the trees basically Now I will ask the kid to come and tell me which is growing very slowly. I'm sorry. Yeah, correct. Now the, tr the kid will say me that he'll see this He'll see this, he'll see this, he'll see this, he'll say that this is growing damn slow. It has a slow growth and this tree has got the highest growth. So this is for the maximum and this is for the minimum. That's it. Look at the maximum, look at the figure, tick the answer. A similar question is asked in this format. In which, which of the years was the percentage increase of production of company A was minimum from the previous year? So what he's doing is he's bothering company A and company A itself. Nothing a new stuff. He's asking this is the company A and this is the company A. So basically this is the new tree. This tree. This is the this this is the original tree. This is the next tree. If I'll say this is the original tree then this is the next tree. If I say this is the original tree, then this is the next tree. This is the original tree, then this is the next tree. So if I'll ask a kid uh, where the tree is growing the least, here he'll say that no, it's, it's growing almost double. Here, it's not at all growing, it's, it's falling. This is the original tree and it's, it's falling. It's, it's not growing. Now, over here, this is the original tree and it's growing. 
here it's original tree but it's it's not growing it's falling so obviously the increase the kid will say that here there is a higher increase here <coughs> there is a very slow increase sorry here here there is a decrease and here there is a minute increase this tree is growing very slowly it will say me that this tree is growing by only this much if the this is the tree and it's only growing by this much so this is minimum this is not growing this is falling so by looking at the graph you can say this is for minimum similarly you can you can make out where it will be the maximum if at all company a to company a somebody is asking and the question is asking so you can see that company A to company A the maximum is either this or see this is this is a fall so I'm taking out this is a fall I'm taking out so I'm left with this and this here I go this is for maximum this is a minimum this is as easy as it is thanks for watching